Christian tree. So we have heavy cylinder put here, and we want to find what do we have to find? We have to find the spring constant k. Okay. So no worries. Since there's a spring involved, we have to use the principle of virtual work. That is to say, use dw equals to du. Okay. First things first, don't forget to assign your coordinates. In here, we've already assigned the coordinates for the weight and the extension. Okay, the extension is inherent within the geometry. We'll look into that later. So first, write down uh, the PVW formula and fill it in. So the works done are the weight. In this case, look, the weight is opposite to the displacement direction. So you have to assign it as negative. And now the extension is always given by the spring force multiplied by the small extension. Okay, so now we have to relate the infinitesimals delta x and delta e to a common variable. Now, when you look at the diagram, the common variable to take is alpha, right? This. Now, why is that the case? Because when alpha changes, notice that the spring extension will change. And also, when alpha changes, the cylinder will roll up and down, correct? So x will change. So see, alpha can be related to x, and it can be related to um, the extension. So let us go ahead and use alpha as the common variable. So let's take a look at this triangle here, this right angle triangle here. So when we look at that right angle triangle, we can claim that um, we can claim that tangent of alpha. This is one alpha because I split this quite into two. Tangent of alpha is equal to opposite, which is this radius over adjacent, which is x. Okay, so I can say <coughs> opposite over hypotenuse. Then I want to make x the subject. So I bring this over. Then I bring this over. OK, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to write it like this so that I can differentiate it later. So using the approximate change, I say this is equal to, oops, sorry, multiply by delta alpha. Now I put this into this, I get alpha r tangent. OK, I can bring r out. OK, now I differentiate this. So power bring down. Power minus one. Differentiation of the inside. So differentiation of tangent is secant squared. Delta alpha. So um, what else? Okay, so I think I'll, from here, I'll just simplify it, I guess. So it's got negative R. Second square alpha over tangent square alpha. Next, we want to relate alpha to the extension. Now, how do we do that? So we can focus on this triangle, I suppose, this right angle triangle. When you do that, you get this opposite and this, ah, okay, we're given this length L. So this is the hypotenuse and this is opposite. So we can relate it using sine, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. But we want to know what this opposite is. 
don't know what this is. So we need to find an expression for this. Now, um, do you know anything else? We don't know this, so we only have to use this. Okay. So see this diagram shows you the spring in the stretch configuration already. So this is L prime, right? And then this over here is T. Wait, let me think. So the extension, because it's stretched, the extension is given by the new length minus the original length. The new length is what we're trying to find here. This, if you use a bit of trigonometry, you will know that this is actually L sine 2 alpha, right? This is actually L sine 2 alpha. So that means L prime is given by the sum of this and this, which is L sine 2 alpha plus T. Okay, so we can substitute this into here, <laughs> we get, what is this? L sine two alpha plus T, L sine two alpha plus T minus L naught. Wait, yeah, L naught is the original name that you give us. <clears throat> so use the approximate change. Sub this into here. And this is a bit long. Okay. So if we differentiate this, notice that T is a constant, so we can go away. L naught is a constant, so we can go away. Differentiation of sine is cos, so this becomes cos. Then we need to differentiate the inside. Differentiation of 2 alpha is 2. Then this becomes this. So we have this. Okay. So now we have to solve this into the PVW formula. So this is 2L cos 2 alpha. OK, so remember. The PVW was like this, which became this, and this, so this. So now we replace the X with this. And we replace uh, delta E with, um, this so 2l cos 2 alpha 2l cos 2 alpha d alpha okay we both sides have d alpha we can drop the infinitesimal now what else can we do okay so this minus can cancel this minus now we have to make k the subject but where is k actually k is inside here right because the spring force is given by k e okay and then we know that e we found the expression for e earlier to be this over here so we have to sub that in also so that's l sine 2 alpha plus t l sine 2 alpha plus t minus the extension i mean minus the original length Okay, so we're going to replace F with this. So let's neaten this up a bit. So we have MG times, let's put this to the top, MGR secant square engine square goes to K. 
times this whole thing. Okay. So now we have to make uh, k the subject because that's what we want. Okay. Let, let us neaten this side up a bit. So in the answer, in the solution they gave us, they express it in terms of cosine and sine. There's no secant or tangent appearing. So we have to change secant to cosine and sine respectively. So secant is actually one word cos. Tangent is actually sine over cos. So both the top and the bottom have one over cos squared. So I can remove this and this. Then I'm just going to copy down this whole lot. So it is. <laughs> Okay, and then um, what else? So we just move everything over. So these terms, I'm gonna move it over. In the end, we get uh, so mgr over k l sine through alpha plus t minus l not. Times two L cos two alpha times sine squared alpha. Let me check if this is correct. So we have MGR on the top divided by. Oops, there's no more no more K here. Oops, my bad. Okay. Two L cos two alpha. Two L cos two alpha. Sine square alpha, sine square alpha, and then the extension. All right, so this is correct. So this is the solution. Okay, if you found this video helpful, please support me on coffee. Thank you.